Why did you choose the field of reproductive medicine? I started at UCLA wanting to be an OBGYN, and my mentor there uh, was one of the pioneers in IVF, and he got me uh, interested in the IVF lab and how embryos grew and really the science behind uh, embryo culture, and that really whetted my appetite and got me hooked on fertility treatment, and the rest is history. What do you love most about your job? Going in the lab every day and looking at embryos. Uh, it never gets old. Um, you know, every embryo is a potential human being, and they're just still amazing to me, watching them grow and develop, and the science of being able to uh, culture uh, an egg from one cell into a, a potential human being, and then genetically test it, and freeze it, and thaw it. It just, um, it, it, it humbles me. How do you ensure you have a positive and successful doctor-patient relationship? People are looking for guidance. Um, they, they're coming to me for my experience and hopefully my wisdom and my expertise. But at the same time, um, it has to be, as I always say, a democracy. You know, we have to make decisions together. But you can't just give patients a multiple choice and say, well, whatever you want to do, if you want to take this drug or that drug, it's your choice. They kind of look at you like, aren't you supposed to make that decision? So I usually guide them and give them my opinion as to what I think is best for them, but they still have to buy in and be comfortable with the treatment you've outlined. So I think having that blend of uh, guiding them with the wisdom you have the, to the best of your ability, but making sure they're involved in the decision making is important. What would patients who have worked with you in the past say is your best attribute? They would argue I'm brutally honest. Um, I always tell them like it is. Um, it sometimes isn't what they want to hear or even the most optimistic information, but I want to be realistic with them. I want them to understand what their chance of success is, where they're at, and uh, what their goals and what their challenges are so that they're not misled in any way. Um, so it's, uh, again, a bit of an art to be optimistic but still realistic. You certainly don't want to mislead patients on their journey through infertility. You want them prepared for what, what's ahead. Describe a moment as a doctor that you're especially proud of. Like the first time I delivered a baby, I would still say it was probably one of the highlights of my life. That's something, you know, the first time you do it, it's, it's, you're just awestruck here. Uh, you, you probably can never have that moment again, but um, that, that was one of the highlights of my career. But yeah, every time, you know, a patient here has a positive pregnancy test, I know I kind of know what that means because I delivered that first baby and they're hopefully in for that same adventure nine months later That because it's going to be their first baby and uh, I'm sure it's going to impact them as much as it did me. Outside of work, what's one of your passions or interests? I think most people know I like golf, so uh, my boys are golfers, I love golf and uh, it's, it's a great game, I, it's a great uh, outlet for me when I need to not think about medicine for a few hours.